Jason, it looked like you guys intentionally fouled Zion up to about 17 seconds left. Is that the case? And what was the reasoning on that play? Yeah, that was the plan. Um, one, if you let him get going, it's it's hard to foul him uh, where he can get a continuation. So um, Maxi did the right thing and, and fouled. And we believed if he made both, we said we have the ball uh, with, I think, 15 seconds left to win. So it was. Um, Play the percentages here a little bit. He missed one, and then the goal was that if he did miss both, we have to come up with that rebound. So uh, I thought the guys did a great job of executing late um, on both ends, defensively and offensively. How do you describe what Tim and Kyrie did? In our backcourt. Um, I think it's the second time in uh, franchise history that you know two guys scored 40 points last year. Kai and Luca did it and, uh, this afternoon. Uh, Timmy. Timmy was huge for us. Timmy was, you know, was he, he kept us in there. He made some big shots, but Kai was steady uh, the whole afternoon. He just took what they gave him. Uh, he, again, he's been doing this on this homestand. He's, he's leading us, and uh, guys are following, and he puts us in a position to win. Jason, what was your perspective on what Lively meant, particularly the comeback element in the fourth quarter with the offensive rebounds that he had? Yeah, we we uh, yeah we didn't run him into the ground this uh, afternoon, uh, but his offensive rebounds uh, to give us second opportunities, and then his defensive rebounds were huge for us, which we missed in that first game. Um, I thought late in the game he, he came up with some great opportunities for us to get second or third opportunities at, at the basket, um, which we needed. Uh, but just his presence on the floor, the guys trust him. Um, for his first game back for a while, I, I thought he did great, it, and we missed him, and uh, we're happy that he's back. Jason, recently I, I asked you about uh, foul trouble with him and how he's you know, kind of avoided it some, and you said you wouldn't mind him playing with some more foul trouble. And he did have a little bit of that today. Was, was today kind of an example that, that you hope is a teaching point for him about how to be able to, to stay on the floor in critical situations despite having some foul trouble? Yeah, I think it's important to, to, to get in those situations, uh, especially with you know, no practice. You know, it's just games. And so you got to teach um, from the games, as I uh, told a lot of those guys in, the, in there um, this afternoon, is to watch this game, to know how to play with Kai. Um, when we get Luca back, when guys are top locked, um, just understanding what you can do and what you can get away with. But limited uh, practice time, you know, this is uh, on the run and you're trying to show guys um, as we travel tomorrow to LA, there won't be a practice. We, we travel and then we got to suit it up and go again. And so just understand our basketball IQ. Uh, we got better th this afternoon, but we have to understand that the top lock, uh, you know, with Kai or Luca, we're going to see a lot of that in our, the other three on the floor have to understand how to play. It felt like that possession where Lively had two offensive rebounds and Hardaway finished it with three, that completely swung momentum for you guys. Did it feel like that on your end too? Yeah, I think, you know, we were just fighting and, you know, I was telling uh, the guys on the bench if we could just keep this a five-point game going into the fourth um, because we, we try to figure out if we can get Kai out or not. And if you get Kai out, our offense kind of goes uh, away. So. Uh, I thought that the two offensive rebounds, just like um, the, the New York game, being able to come up with extra shots late. Uh, but I, I also thought just sharing the ball, understanding, uh, you know, Kai is patient. Kai is going to do what he does. But the other guys, Josh makes another big three in the corner for us. And, and so just the patience and the, and the guys that are growing up, these young kids are growing up. Um, under you know distress and so it's it's a beautiful thing to watch but you know it's uh, we've got a long ways to go but hopefully we can get healthy because then it becomes fun. What, what do you think about what Hardaway has been able to give you this season as a whole? Obviously off the bench most of the time and filling in uh, the starting lineup recently. Yeah, he's the substitute teacher right now in the starting lineup. He's he's being a pro about it. You know, he, he, we've asked him to come off the bench. Uh, we've asked him to start. We're asking him to guard. Zion, we're asking him to guard everybody, um, and he's just a pro. And uh, this afternoon was a perfect example that you know he took his shots. He was aggressive, um, and so you know we need that uh, no matter if he's starting or, or coming off the bench. Jason, in the course of your two weeks here at home, you've had some exhilarating wins. You've had some losses. I'm sure that you, you look back and maybe lament a little bit when you when you look at this the balance of the whole segment of the season, of two weeks at home. Is there any takeaway that you have from it? Yeah, it was a hell of a uh, home stand, five and two. You know that that's 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 a positive. That's big. No matter who who you beat or who you lose to, um, when you protect home like that, that's 
that's a good sign, especially with the health that we have. It's, you know, whoever can play, next man up. And I, and I thought we protected home. Uh, as much as we can talk about games in the past, but we can only learn from those. We can't change the win-loss column, but, you know, to protect home the way we did, you know, we've got to be proud of that. You mentioned hopefully get healthy soon. Any sense of uh, optimism, uh, whether Luke can go on this road trip, can play on the road trip? Can only hope the California sun helps heal us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will see. I have no, I have no idea. Um, but I hope everybody goes, and hope hopefully everybody has come out of this game healthy. Um, but hopefully the California sea breeze makes everybody feel good, and they can participate on Wednesday. Uh, speaking of health, how did it feel to have both Maxi and D-Live back to battle with guys like Zion and JV? Yeah, I think I said that the other day that we need to get a little bit bigger. So that that was a, a nice thing to see, you know, to be able to have uh, Maxi and D-Live out there together, um, to be able to bring Ran in with D-Live or Maxi. That's a, you know, that's another combo. So um, as we get healthy and we continue to keep playing. Um, you know, hopefully that we can continue to see those uh, combos out there and that they can have a positive effect on the game. Thank you, Coach.